What's up YouTube? Uh, here is one more uh, do-it-yourself video and today we'll repair the steering wheel. Uh, I know a lot of guys who are taking care about their cars and uh, their car could be like 10 years old but it still looks like new, looks perfect. And we can take care about a lot of stuff uh, like a scratches on the paint, uh, like some plastic defects. Uh, it's pretty simple, but some stuff like uh, leather, leather seats and steering wheel, pretty hard to repair. And in most of cases, uh, people buying just a uh, new part. Uh, it's happened to me. I had a lot of wear over here. It was like deep, deep, uh, let's say holes. Uh, the the leather from from here was peeled off, and it was feels just terrible. It's not only looks terrible, feels terrible when you have all all, all the you know bumps. So I decided to fix it, and the first stupid thing that I did, I decided to clean it out with a rubbing alcohol. Uh, the, what happened? It, it softened my uh, le le leather and uh, it, it started to come out. It, it was actually <clears throat> very frustrating. I ran to look for a new steering wheel on eBay and I found out that all, uh, you know, nobody have a new steering wheel, but all use it, don't have an airbag. That means car was an accident and it's not, I don't want to have a steering wheel from some wrecked car. Uh, and uh, the second is it's close to over a hundred uh, dollars and most of them I have a cruise control and all, all buttons here most of them don't have it so uh, I look it for rub also but I can hold the needle in my hands I, I'm sure I'm not gonna do this well so I, I look it for a easier way I have nothing to lose so what did I decide to do I decided to put the cream for shoes and as you can see uh, it looks not that bad uh, before it was really really terrible it was not that bad before alcohol but after alcohol it was a nightmare so what I did uh, I took the cream at first I took the hard one and unfortunately it started to come out as soon as it, it, it uh, was dry well so uh, then I took the liquid one with the sponge. So what do what you need to do? You're taking the sponge and making the moves like this. All around the places that wear it. Everywhere. On the places where you have a deep, deep wear, you can put like a, like a drop of uh, cream, but then make it really, 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 really smooth. You don't want to have any any bumps or something because it will be impossible to make it smooth then, so be careful. Uh, so we're making a smooth layer like this, uh, yep, like this, all, all around the steering wheel and all around the places that uh, you need. Uh, also basically people have a wear over here, so we're doing the same over here. And you're doing this layer by layer, let it dry, put your car on, on a place where it direct sunshine and let it dry really well. When it will dry, if you see it's still not, not, not perfect, uh, it's will, the surface will be like this, so, and dry, you know, so put on top of dry, not flat surface, put one more layer. Then, when you decide you're close to perfection, put one more layer and after 30 seconds start to polish it with some uh, wool cloth or any anything for buffing. Uh, then you'll m make it almost perfect, uh, check it everywhere again and if it's necessary put a few more layers. It's actually the cheapest and easiest way to fix your steering wheel so i hope it will be helpful for a lot of people who love their cars uh, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching bye bye